Spokane firefighter wrongly accused in a child porn investigation vowed to clear his name. Words cannot describe how much I have suffered, how much my family has suffered. But now he's facing felony charges. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Dave Erickson. A Spokane firefighter who was falsely accused of possessing child pornography by the state patrol is facing new charges tonight. The Stevens County prosecutor filed felony charges against Todd Chisholm this afternoon. This is Chisholm here with injuries he suffered in a fight with state troopers during a DUI arrest earlier this month. He is charged with two counts of third degree assault on an officer, resisting arrest, and physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence. KXLY4 Sally Showman is live at Fire Station 1 tonight. Sally? Robin, Todd Chisholm has been on paid administrative leave since the incident happened earlier this month. The city may lay him off now because as of today, he's charged with two felonies. It started early in the morning, April 6th. Todd Chisholm's truck was stuck in the sand across the highway from his Nine Mile Falls home. A driver called 911 to report the truck in the ditch, and responding troopers found what they say was a drunk Chisholm trying to free his truck. Court documents filed today say Chisholm had bloodshot eyes, a flushed face, and his pants were unzipped. At first, Chisholm was cooperative with troopers who started field sobriety tests. But things went downhill quickly after Chisholm overheard the two troopers talking about how his name sounded familiar. Chisholm was arrested once before by the state patrol. In 2008, troopers raided his home and arrested him on child porn charges. The charges were later dropped when it was determined the arrest was based on bad evidence. Chisholm sued the state patrol. The lawsuit is still pending. During the stop this month, prosecutors say Chisholm got agitated when he was told he was under arrest and took a boxing pose. He reportedly took a step toward one of the troopers. Troopers tased Chisholm several times, but he kept resisting. The officers eventually got Chisholm in cuffs and read him his constitutional rights, to which Chisholm reportedly yelled out several threats, including one to beat the officers to death. One trooper suffered a broken thumb, the other a hand fracture. Chisholm's injuries are apparent in his booking photo. Chisholm remains on paid administrative leave tonight, but that may soon change. If charges are brought and uh, they involve a felony, then that would rise to the level of a city administrator mayoral decision whether or not to keep that person um, on the books, whether they would be paid in a capacity still functioning as an employee or not. And in this case, that decision will probably be made next week. I spoke with Todd Chisholm's attorney late this afternoon. He says there are two sides to every story. Chisholm's is very different than the troopers, according to Carl Oreskovich. He also says Chisholm sustained a significant amount of injury that was not accounted for in the probable cause documents. Chisholm's arraignment is scheduled for May 18th in Stevens County. Live in Spokane, Sally Shellman, KXLY4 HD News.